and Cookies and Cream, Beavis and Butthead, Bill and Ted, Xandria, and Sweet Pea. We are both here for you. We're both here to help you learn how to say and. Let's take a look at the first one. You ready? 너는 버거와 감자튀김을 원하다. Okay. 나는 first person plus the topic marker. We know that one. 버거. Let's ignore the wa for a second. 버거. Phonetic borrowing. Burger. Wa is our and. So burger and fries. 감자 튀김을. Okay, so gamja on its own is going to mean potato. Whenever you have twigim after whatever a food it's attached to, it means the fried version of that. So we're literally looking at fried potatoes, which they're instantly going to mean fries. They're instantly going to think you're talking about fries. And then we just have the object marker right after this. Gamja twigim ul. One handa. Taken from one hada. Now, because one hada is an action verb meaning to once, in a plain form sentence, more on that in another video. Because it's a plain form sentence, we're putting a nian at the bottom of the second to last syllable. I'll explain further when we get to plain form sentences, but that's what we're going to do. The main point today is wa. Wa, again, it's going to be our and, and it's the and that we use when we're connecting two nouns, burger and fries. That wa. Now you'll notice this wa follows a vowel. What if it follows a consonant? Let's read the next sentence. 나는 주랑말과 너무 집을 원하다. Okay. 나는, again, you know what you love it. 주랑말. Let's ignore the gua for a second. 주랑말. Pony. Gua is our and. And you'll notice gua is following a consonant. What is the difference between wa and gua? They both mean and, right? And they're both connecting two nouns, pony and nomu, which means tree. All right, think about that. Jurang mal gua nomu tibiruanada. I want a pony and a tree house. All right, so connecting pony with tree. These are both still nouns. Wa and gua, they do the exact same thing. It's just wa is following a vowel. Gua is following a consonant. Other than that, there is no difference. That's it. They're the same particle. Just one little, one little itty bitty change. We're connecting nouns with wa and gua. What if we want to connect verbs? Hmm. Let's take a look at this one. 나는 먹고 싶을 것이다. Hmm. Okay. Isn't it nice of me to begin these all the same way? Makes it easier, huh? 나는 먹고 싶을 것이다. We've taken 먹다 to eat, got rid of the da, and we're connecting 고. You're not. You wanted it in here. You want it in here. You're going to have to wait until mommy's done. Go is our conjunction. It's going to be our and. Really? So this goal is connecting two verbs. Mokta to eat and shwipta to be easy. And not only that, shwipta can be taken as like 
to take it easy. In other words, to rest. So, shuil koshira, we've conjugated tripta into the future tense. Nanagmogu shuil koshira. We have connected two verbs. Really? Fine. Okay. Fine. Out of here. There you go. Okay. Connecting two verbs with go. Go. I mean, it's a Swiss Army syllable. It's going to mean a bunch of things. It, it's going to mean to say that you want to do something. It's going to be used to quote things. It's so many uses. When it's being used as a conjunction, it doesn't just mean and. It means and then. It is sequential. So like in English, um, it doesn't matter which one we say first if we were we're talking about what we did that day. Oh, well, we went to the beach and we went swimming and we went to karaoke and we went to the dollar store and we went to the park. Doesn't matter which one of those came first. In English, we can just list them one after another and it it's not in it's not apparent which one you did first. And has no such meaning besides and we did this, and we did that. It's, it's just, uh, it's not a big deal which one you list first. In Korean, because go means and then, it does matter which one you put first. So you do have to list whatever you did first or will do first. So I will eat and then rest. 나는 잠을 자고 나서 밖으로 나갈 것이다. Okay. 나는 잠을 자고. Literally, sleep asleep. Let me just talk about this really quick. Okay, so have you ever seen Fiddler on the Roof? Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find. Catch me a catch. There's also that song, dream a little dream for me of me. Anyway, those situations where we have a verb noun combination, we're taking the verb plus the noun version of that verb. When it comes to sleeping, I will sleep asleep. I mean, we don't say that in English, but in Korean, they're used to saying it this way. So, it's one of those, sleep asleep, and then, na so, all right, let's put a pin in that so thing, because, I mean, we've talked a lot about so in the previous video. We have nada, to come out to emerge. Okay. Bakuro. Bak, on its own, already means outside, and then we have uro. Whenever we have uro or lo, that's just meaning like towards. In this case, it means towards. It could also mean through. It could also mean using or via. I'll contact you via mail. Live, via satellite. So it could take on those meanings. In this sense, it's basically it's just towards. Uh, this is a little different from, you know, a sol. Where it's like, okay, this is going to happen outside. Bakolo is more like towards outside. I'm going to that place. Okay, and then we have nakal. So we have nada back. A little while ago, in a previous video, we talked about compound verbs. We are taking one verb stem and combining it with another verb stem. So Nada is combining here with kara, to go. So when it comes to kara and ora, they frequently pair with motion verbs. Coming out, walking, biking, swimming, riding the train. So take another look at the those, pre oh gosh, can't remember what video it was. Probably the because one, if you need a little more detail on that. Anyway. Nara combined with kara, to come out, and then kara to go. And 
we are sticking the Lear right on the bottom because we are going into the future tense. All right. 나는 잠을 자고 나서 밖으로 나갈 것이다. I will sleep and then go outside. Now, there are more ways to say and than these, but these are a couple of the ones that you're going to see the most frequently. Thank you, and we will get more into conjunctions shortly. We still have to learn how to say but, right? See you next time. Bye.